Hey what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to make a quick video to show off this brand new robot arm design that I'm calling version 4.1 and this is the version that I'll be releasing a tutorial for as well as a published book that's on the way. But I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of talk about the previous prototypes that got me to this point. So let's take a look. So this is the first uh, robotic arm that I ever designed and built. Um, it basically worked with a bunch of uh, cables that uh, pulled the fingers together. Um, all the joints were made of a flexible 3D printable material like TPU, so they kind of sprung back into place. This is also the first design where I decided to remove the pinky finger and just have it be a three-fingered hand with a thumb that could rotate back and forth. Uh, this was mostly just due to the layout of the actuators and making the hand still be around about the same size as a human hand. Um, this one kind of worked with four separate actuators on each side that made up the structure of the forearm. But this is the first arm where I got the idea to use a screw gear like this that kind of uh, pulled and pushed the fingers into place. The next prototype I wanted to show you was this uh, kind of funky three-finger design that was a much less human approach than my last build. But the idea was to make a really modular hand that could be taken apart really easily, and each finger was its own kind of independent gearbox mechanism. Uh, this did work, it looked really cool, but it uh, it was definitely kind of over-engineered and not very practical. That being said, it did make a really cool art piece. I really like the just overall aesthetic of this hand, so I might revisit it down the line. And I probably should say this from the beginning of the video, that uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a few requests to release the older versions of my gripper projects and my robot hand projects. and. While I would be open to that idea, a lot of these parts needed to be modified and I don't really have a tutorial for them. So right now I don't have any plans to release the old versions, I'm only focusing on the new ones. Uh, but if there's enough interest, I might think about revisiting these down the line. And that leads me to the next version of this design, which was also a three-fingered hand. And this is kind of where this project branched off to be its own thing, separate from the more humanoid design that I posted. Uh, this one also had this cool uh, worm gearbox that gave it a bit of wrist rotation. This design was also a lot more modular than the previous version, and the whole hand could be taken off with just uh, undoing a couple of bolts. The worm gear mechanism that drove the fingers was actually mounted behind the gearbox, and it made for a much more even weight distribution. So this hand was actually way more practical than the previous design, I would be totally comfortable using this for a more practical application. The main issue with it was that it was just way too heavy to be used for the robotics project that I originally built it for, but I definitely plan on revisiting this project, uh, I'm just taking a break from it right now, but I'm definitely going to be making more videos involving this gripper in the future. Uh, this gripper also had no problem picking stuff up and moving things around. Um, it actually got as far as to have a whole bicep and forearm built for it. And this is around the time that I realized that it was just going to be way too heavy for what I wanted to use it for. And it also just used DC motors that would have to come up with uh, control boards for every single motor on this build. And that would be fine, but it, this was around the time that I realized that I was more going for a humanoid robot, so I just took a break from this project for a little bit. I do still plan on uh, going back at this one at some point. I still have it fully assembled and ready to go. Um, I just had other projects that were kind of taking priority at the time. And this is also the project that I get the most requests for open sourcing. And I will do that eventually once I've kind of finalized the parts and they won't require additional post-processing or I get around to making a tutorial for it. But I see those comments, and I definitely plan on revisiting this guy at some point, so I'm sure that'll happen soon. I do just want to point out the bicep on this one that actually works with a power window motor for a car. And I actually realized that these motors aren't really designed for um, operating for a long extended period of time. They're more just intended for short bursts. 
So when I revisit this project, I might replace it with a motor that's more intended for this purpose or some kind of linear actuator. But I'll just leave that for another day. So once I decided to take a break from that previous project, I went back to designing more humanoid hands. And this is the first hand that I designed that uses uh, servo motors converted into linear actuators to create the movement. And the idea here was that I wanted to have a robotic hand where all the mechanisms were housed inside the hand. Uh, I've already built like an in-move robot and that, that's one of my favorite 3D printable um, projects out there, but all the, all the servos are housed within the forearm and I wanted something where they're all inside the palm. Um, and then this way it could also be used as either a open source prosthetic or it could be used for lightweight robotics projects. But in my project, I wanted the hand to be easily taken off to be replaced with a different style of gripper. So that's why it's designed this way. And this design um, was really cool. It did have the pinky and ring finger kind of created an illusion because a lot of people were wondering why I removed the pinky in my previous human design. So I just added it back in in this one. But in order to keep the same size and scale of a real human hand, I had to combine it and use the same actuator for both the ring finger and the pinky, which worked okay, but they really just um, didn't quite work the way I wanted them to, so I ended up going back to a three finger design in the future versions of this, but it was cool to experiment with this. I do want to eventually make a, a five fingered hand that mimics a human hand, but part of the idea with this 3D printable robot hand design was making it easy to assemble for anyone, because I did plan on open sourcing it and maybe ha maybe even having kits available. So I really wanted to be able to work with just standard hobby servos rather than messing with small motors and taking the control boards out of servos or coming up with something custom. So after I went back to a three finger design, I came up with uh, this kind of heavy duty version where the fingers were a bit thicker and a bit more uh, precise. Uh, this hand I was really happy with. This was the um, version that I was considering to be final for a, a good long while. Uh, I did want to make some minor adjustments to it because it just used uh, three separate finger mechanisms that at the time were just held together with zip ties and screws and I wanted to make it more clean and professional but overall I was happy with the design. Um, and this is where I first introduced the um, linear actuators that move the fingers back and forth. And you can find the tutorial for just these actuators on my YouTube page, so definitely check that out. But that's what I used uh, to create the finger actuation in this hand. And the whole hand could be removed from the forearm by just undoing one singular bolt, and you could swap it with any, uh, any other gripper that's compatible with it. Mechanically speaking, this is essentially the same as the final robotic hand that I designed. Uh, the one key difference is that the new finalized version can also tilt its wrist as well as rotate. And I got rid of the flexible rubber joints near the knuckle and replaced it with something a bit more mechanical and precise. But this hand was even taken to several art galleries and comic cons and was always a hit whenever people saw it in person. Um, so I definitely want to keep it around. I might even revisit this uh, kind of heavy duty design in the future because I really do like it. So then that leads me to the fourth version of the humanoid robot hand, which essentially was the final version that I was ready to open source and ready to come up with some sort of kit. And that is still true. The new version I'm going to be putting out as a tutorial and as an open source hand, I have fine-tuned slightly and made a few cosmetic upgrades and fine-tuned a couple measurements. But overall, this is the version that I'm going to be releasing. It does have all the same motion as all my previous hands with a few additions like this cool wrist tilt can also rotate and it does have the same uh, thumbs up mechanism that my very first robot hand had. Um, really it has everything I was hoping for in a robotic arm so this is the one I'll be using to uh, make a full robot including the body and head. Um, I've also designed this one to be CNC friendly so I'm going to be getting the fingers and mechanisms uh, CNC cut out of aluminum or another lightweight metal. So as always, thanks for watching guys, and if you want to build one of these robot arms for yourself, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, I'll be posting that tutorial real soon.